Hey, it's your boy, Mr. I'm about to explode because this is my fourth time doing this. One save, 50 million tries, because either it didn't record, because the uh, resolution was jacked up, or simply because for some reason the viewer decided it wanted to cut out into chunks. Which isn't as bad as the rest of them, but it's still annoying! Anyways, I'm gonna spray through this, NC, not NC, NSFW, not safe for work. I will be censoring if it's really bad. Don't know why this is a thing. Cool artwork. Link in the description of this for this mod. Let's just get into it, boys. Ellipses. Is this still considered an ellipses? What's this? This shouldn't be possible. I'm gonna breeze through this part because it. I'm gonna spoil it. It's Monica. But she's not in the mod. I, that's the one thing I forgot to show. In fact, you know what? Just. There we go. Just so you know, I'm not trying to get ahead spoilers. Why am I here? How am I here? Did you bring me back? I don't see any other explanation. Why? Well, we've already established that there's no happiness here, so why? H huh? Why can't I look at the script? Something's wrong. You didn't do anything, did you? Don't you understand? Are you trying to mess things up even more? How did you- Wait, I know. You've installed a mod, haven't you? That's why everything's been changed. Don't you think it's time to let us all go? What, you want everything to be like how it should have been? But... You really care about them, don't you? I wish... Never mind. If you really want to do it, I won't stop you. I've been fighting... And take control of this game again. But if you want to play through the mod, then... Well, I'll succumb to the mod's control. I do not want to know what you and the mod are doing. Don't suck or cum or any of that. Keep it PG. I see this is clearly an NSF NSFW mod, apparently. You got me heated. So, do you want me to allow the mod's activation? Yes. 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 I, I knew it. Jer, whatever your name actually is, I truly hope that you can find happiness with your choice. So far, no. Because I've done this about 20 times. I'm about ready to start. If this happens again, I'm going to start yelling. Um. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like me. I lay in bed. By the way, if I speed read this, it's because I already know what happened. I'll try to make sure it's still readable. Or understandable. But I've just gone through like 30 minutes of reading. Just to find out it like broke apart. Like the entire like. Shebang bang. Um, I lay in bed motionless and staring up at the blank white ceiling. Last night was dreadful. The sound of thunder kept me up for hours. But today's another day, I guess. Let's just hope that it's at least a little bit better. With another sign, I begrudgingly drag myself out of bed and groggily begin the monotony. Begin the. Begin the monotony of the, my daily routine. Make my way to the kitchen. I haphazardly rummage through the cupboards, looking for something to eat. Unfortunately, there's no tasty homemade breakfast waiting me ever since my parents' divorce. Lucky, your parents got married in the first place. I've just been living off whatever I find in this kitchen. I live with my mom, but she's always taking business trips abroad. So, for the most part, it's pretty much just me at home. It's lonely, but I manage. Although, I do miss the smell of bacon and eggs in the morning. Breakfast used to be a family thing. Dad would read the newspaper at the kitchen table while Mom would stand up the stove and fry her up her fa famous sunny side up eggs. All of that feels like forgotten memory. Well, at least breakfast is sorted. A calor... Calorie may... Calor... Never mind. Not exactly the best start of the day, but it'll do. I'll do... It'll do, donkey. It'll do. I, I do my shopping since mom's never home, but I usually stick to buying the bare necessi... The bare necessities. Do, 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 do. Don't want to get copyrighted. It's a... Anyways, the ease of using pre-made stuff has pretty much sh sapped me of the urge to cook meals for myself. That part sounds relatable because I only cook one thing and that's Italian. And even then, I don't think I've done it in years. <laughs> and with my food quickly finished, I head for the door. At the very 
least. The weather looks much better than yesterday's. Clear skies, better than thunderstorms any day of the week. I'm still lost in my thoughts when I notice a familiar face. It's Sayori! Waifu! But I'm not a weeaboo, I swear! We have quite a history together. As children, we were basically inseparable. By the way, um... Never mind, I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. I had an idea for a potential thing to do, because I have another mod. I'll potentially be doing something special for that, if it works out. If not, then, well, you'll never know. If it does work, you'll know. You'll, you'll know. Uh, we have quite a history together. The children, we were basically inseparable. Always exploring, getting up to mischief, driving our parents wild. You didn't ever have the c c cops called on you when you were like 10, so get on my level, scrub. Typical things that young children do, really. At t as time went on, especially in recent years, we started slowly drifting apart. In fact, I haven't properly spoken to her in a long time. It's a real shame. After all, we've shared a lot of fond memories with each other. I'm surprised to see her up this early, though. A couple of times I've glanced out of the classroom window only to see her hurriedly walking along to school. We used to walk to school together, although she was sometimes a little late to meet me. I never really minded. As we continued to drift apart, however, her lack of punctuality became more frequent, and I just decided to be better if I walked to school alone. Which meant that although I did did get to school on time more often, it was quite lonely. Knowing her, she's probably just gotten more and more lazy with time. That's rude. After all, her dedication to sleeping in seems to be unwavering. Dude, you, you you're just like the other character. I guess that's what the that's the point. It's supposed to be the same character, isn't it? Ah oh, well, still I've always enjoyed talking to her. Hey, sorry, I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? She looks a little surprised at my appearance in question. I suppose I can't blame her. Oh, hey, Jay. I wasn't expecting to see you. That makes two of us. You're up early today. Uh -huh. She laughs softly, a misplaced looking frown on her face. I've been alright, though. Not a whole lot has changed recently, you know? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Life has been pretty routine these days. School's kind of meh, although I guess it could have been worse. She nods as we both resume the walk to school, although I can't... I can talk to her just fine. There's still an awkward air between us. I guess it's a given thing as the first proper conversation together in a long time. As we carry on... Making idle small talk, a sudden thought hits me. Anyway, this might come across a bit out of the blue, but seeing you here has given me an idea. Oh? Well, it's been a while since we've walked to school together. How about we start doing that again? Eh, would you really want to do that? I'm not very fun to talk to, and I'm always late. By the way, if, there's speed talking really bad, if the speed talking is really bad, please leave a comment down below. It shouldn't be an issue, though, because after this point, it's going to be, um... I'm going to talk a lot more mellowed out because I will actually be to the part where I'm not just rereading something for like the third time at this point it feels like. I forgot. It's really struggle to hear Sayori say this given I've always known her to have a bubbly cheerful personality. Sorry that's definitely not true. Well that bit about always being late is true. I've always loved hanging out with you and I think we'd have a lot of fun again. Besides I've missed you. I'll even make wake up on time if you need uh, I'll even wake you up on time if you need was that a bit too forward? I don't know. I've never been in this sort of situation before. I mean, we are childhood friends after all, right? Really? Yeah, really. I miss you too, Jay. Let's do it then. From now on, we'll go to school together, okay? Okay. Ah, uh, there it is. The classic Sayori smile I grew up loving. All the memories I have together as a children feature that smile. No matter where we ventured, parks, playgrounds, forests, that's the smile that would follow. That instant childlike sense of adventure we used to have, it's painfully clear that that's long gone. But we, maybe we can still smile together anyway. So what have you been up to lately? Uh, you know, the usual. Hmm, you mean games, anime, and manga, right? Bingo! Eh, and eh. I do not read manga, or manga, or mango, if you know that reference. Yeah, it pretty much goes without saying. Oh, Jay, you haven't changed. Apparently I have, because that's not what I believe in now. And I am out of high school, so, uh, apparently I have changed. Um, heh, are you saying that... Oh, <clears throat> hey, heh. Are you saying you think that I need some change? No one's perfect. There's always room for improvement. Especially in your case, I'm guessing that you're still part of the Go Home Club. That's a mod. Is that a reference to said mod? I do not know. Hey, that cuts a little deep. What do you want me to do? Join the soccer club and chip over everyone? Well, I think a little exercise is good for anyone. I'm very offended if you're trying to call me fat right now. <laughs> well, you don't need to join a sports club if you don't want to. Yeah, I was actually thinking of checking out the anime club. Wow, how'd you guess? It does suit my hobbies, though. Jay, you should try branching out a bit more. Fun story! I have branched out more. I've done way more than the scrub known as Jay. I was a part of rifle marksmanship, I was a part of ROTC, I was a part of football team, not club, technically. I was a part of Blue Devil Strong Slash 
uh, Source of Strength. I guess technically the official name would be Source of Strength. Um, would it technically? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would be. Uh, doesn't even pop up. Hold on. Source of Strength, cool, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Source of Strength, in which I was a public relations guy, so of course, I am the opposite of this guy, apparently. Okay, Miss Club Expert, if you're gonna criticize all my club choices here, what would you suggest? Well, it just happens that there's this club that I'm in. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm actually the vice president. Wow, I did not expect that. Dang, so you gotta take part in all the executive decisions, huh? Eh, kind of. Uh, the club kind of only has four members at the moment, but it's really fun. We're actually looking to have new members right now. Ah, uh, so that's why she brought it up. Only four members. Sounds like you guys are just starting out then. What club is it anyway? It's the school's very own literature club. By the way, if I'm reading too fast, um, pause the video between these. I highly recommend it because I'm a speed through this as fast as I can, to be honest. At least this part. It shouldn't be too much longer, but yeah. It's school's very own layers club. I unintentionally lay outside. Her face drops. I don't think that was quite the reaction she was hoping for. In my defense, literature has never quite captured my interest, unless you have a maga, ma 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 mango as literature, that is. I knew it. You don't want to join. I understand, though. Not many people like reading. Hey, who said I don't like reading? I love reading if you count, uh, mango. I'm more the last word to myself more than the Sayori. On the plus side, Sayori laughs at, the, at my sheepishness. Sheepish. Sheepishness. Um, <laughs> you sound like someone I know from the literature club. She talks about manga all the time. Mango all the time. Well, maybe she'll say manga. I'll say mango. That's just gonna be my thing. Oh, really? I am actually interested in your club, though. Sayori smiles, seemingly content that I'm showing initiative. If I'm looking for a club to join, I guess the literature club is as good of a place as any to start. That's great. You should come by sometime. And by sometime, you're hoping for today, aren't you? <laughs> the sooner the better. All right, I'll have a look at the school today. Yay, thanks, Jay. Although we should probably hurry up. We don't want to be late, do we? Yeah, you're right. I'm more excited for the, the next upcoming scene. Within a few minutes, we've arrived at the school entrance amidst a crowd of chattering students, because one of my favorite characters appears. We wave goodbye as we head off to our separate classes. I have su Sakurai in the morning, so I'm fairly confident what the next hour or so... Well, I'm fairly confident the next hour or so won't be bad. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing Smash, bro. Hey. We're gonna be playing Smash, bruv. Who's Sakurai, you might ask? Only one of the coolest, most down-to-earth teachers we have in the whole school. Being on the young side himself, the experience of high school is much fresher in his mind than in some of his... Than, in, than some of his other te some of the other teachers, especially the older ones. He gives a smile as I open the door. Morning, Jay. How are we doing today? Not bad, sir. Same old, same old. How about you? I'm gonna slow down now, because... Well, now we're starting to catch up to where I was at. Well, or... <clears throat> well, we're finally starting our module on 20th Century History Day, so needless to say, I'm excited. Oh, yeah? First World War, Nazism, Second World War. You forgot communism! That stuff? You bet. I waited all year for this to start. Oh man, you guys are in for a real treat. For some reason, I don't know if I should make him really excited or make him the kind of guy that he, you know he's excited, but he doesn't sound like it. I think that's what I'm going to go with. That's something else I really admire about him. He's so enthusiastic about his subject. That's why. Um, and the enthusiasm really makes some learning about history much more enjoyable. I love those kind of teachers. I went on a whole rant on the last recording. I'm not going to do it again because it was like 10 minutes long, but... I love teachers that are passionate. Some of my best relationships I ever made, like friendships and things of that nature, were actually teachers. In fact, um, I do radio now during the falls, and the person who got me into that job was actually my one of my former teachers, and he's my coworker now because he's the other guy on the radio. Combined with the fact that he's fairly relaxed, especially when it comes to homework, you can really see why he's so popular. Although he does not have a strict, or although he does have a strict side, my uh, coworker teacher is like that too. That side of him comes to light every now and again, so he isn't a pushover. By and large, he's earned the respect of his students by striking 
the balance just right. Um, I just wish that all of my teachers were as friendly made efforts to know their students better. That's a very important thing. That would make school so much easier. Oh well. I can take a seat and one of my classmates, Emmy, smiles and waves. Bouncy and energetic, she has a reputation for her skills on the track field. What do we track in field? Because the track field, the track's its own thing, the field, whatever. I thought it was track and field, whatever. Even when she isn't running, she's still pretty much a ball of energy. Hey, yeah! We have one of those odd friendships where we get along well in class, but don't really see each other outside of school, aka 90% of my friendships I ever made in school. How are you doing, Emmy? Training was really fun today, Jay. Oh? She's always on the hunt for new recruits to join a track team, and she has a habit of dropping some not-so-subtle hints. Yeah, we're always looking for new people, and I know you aren't part of any clubs, so you should totally join us. It's funny you mention that. I'm not part of any... It's funny that you mention I'm not part of any clubs, actually. Huh? I think I'm going to go check out the literature club after school. <laughs> I didn't really think you were the poetic type. But if you ever get bored of writing poems, you know where to find me. How many times do I have to tell you that? Alright, guys. Let's make a start. It's almost criminal that I've had to wait so long to teach my favorite century. Definitely one of the best centuries, my dude. I agree with you, Sakurai. Um, here's where I would counter, though. The other great one would be the American Revolution. That that time period, the what would be considered the 18th century. As well, hold up. Did you say the 19th century? Um... Twentieth century. Okay, they did get it right. Good. So, yeah, eighteenth century, twentieth century. And then, I don't know off the top of my head what century technically would be, but ancient slash classical era. Because I'm a big Rome fan, I'm a big America fan, I'm American, I have Italian and Portuguese descent. Don't really hear much about Portugal except Spain really bullying us. That's about it, though. And being listed as Spanish in the U.S. Census, even though we're not Spanish? The same reason that Latino and Hispanic technically aren't exactly the same? Like, Portuguese and Latino aren't the same, so... Ow, sorry. <laughs> um, it's almost criminal that I've had to wait so long to teach my favorite century. Well, that's the school lessons over. Apparently, we only have one class day. As I linger behind, I haven't had that kind of situation since fourth grade. As I linger behind in the classroom to gather up all my things, I hear the door open. It's Sayori. Hi again, Jay. Hey, the literature club's meeting today, right? Yeah, it is. I was just heading there now. Do you want? Do you still want to come along? This is where I uh, left off last time, so we're caught up now. You betcha. Sayori seems to perk up, looking excited that I still want to come along to the club. Look at you, finally doing some extracurriculars! I mean, if you guys... I mean... <clears throat> I mean... Now I go to... Uh, super manly. No. Um, I mean, if you're vice president, it can't be all that bad, right? She giggles, making me smile. Each individual club member makes it special. Everyone works hard to have fun together. Well, let's not keep them waiting. It'd be rude to show up late. I want to make good first impression after all. By the way, why is he all of a sudden nice? Like, he was just as mean as the one from before, but now he's actually being nice. I don't think... I don't get it. Um... I guess you're right. Come on. It's right this way. And up the stairs at the end. <sighs> Sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> I follow Sayori down the hallway. She seems excited, and it's nice to know that I'm making her day at least a little bit better. The stair... Okay, sorry, I had to make sure it's still recording, because I've already been doomed many a time. 
Um, the stairs lead up to a section of the school that I recognize as the third year wing. There, he leads me to the classroom and knocks on the door. Ellipses. I had to pause myself from, to avoid saying epilepsy. Uh, wrong thing. Trust me, you're, <clears throat> trust me, you're gonna love it. She's definitely enthusiastic about the club, that's for sure. After a seemingly long wait, the door finally slides open. Ellipses. A small, pink-haired girl peeks out. Sayori? She peeks out further. Hey, Natsuki! Guess what? I found someone who wants to join our club! The girl who apparently is called Natsuki slowly turns a glare to me and narrows her eyes. She opens the door fully, and behind her I see another girl sitting at a desk, her face buried in a book. But what? Hey, wait! Sayori! Sayori practically pushes Natsuki out of the way. She seems excited to introduce me to the rest of the club members. Hey guys, I want to introduce you to our newest member, Jay! Uh, Sayori, hold up, hold up, hold up! Girl, hold up, hold up, hold up! It's a bit quick to call me a new member, isn't it? I then notice a third girl peek out from behind the bookshelf in the corner of the classroom. Can it be... Is that Monica? Monica's one of the most popular girls of this high school. Everyone seems to flock to her because she's smart, beautiful, athletic, you name it, she's got it. Oh, I didn't know she was in this. I, I saw a setting that said she was not in it very much. Unfortunately, that means she's also completely out of my league. She looks at... No, she doesn't. She looks at me with a stern look, but then quickly lights up and puts the books down she's holding and rushes over. Oh, there she is. The second best of the white boos. Not a weeaboo, though. Ah, Jay, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! The girl who has her face buried in the book suddenly jolts up and looks right at me. She quickly snaps her book shut and timidly moves to join the conversation. Oh, a new member. My name is Yuri. If you can't hear that, I might actually have to get close to my- I don't know. Y yeah! Holy crap, it seems that I've somehow lucked out. Not only is Monica in this club, but a whole bunch of other cute girls. Pat, hey! It's the best day ever! It's the best day ever. Um, am I glad to have decided to come here instead of the anime club? Sausage fest, am I right? <laughs> yeah. But enough gawking, Jay. Stop staring and start talking. Uh -huh. For me, it would be stop talking and more staring because I don't know how to shut up. It's nice to meet you, Yuri. Like Sayori said, I'm Jay. I smile at her, then turn to Monica. Fake news. I would smirk. I do not smile. That requires both. I don't do that. I have messed up teeth, okay? So it sounds like... Or, so it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Jay. Monica smiles... Monica smiles sweetly. We do not know each other. Well, we talked... I just realized my headphones are... in the wrong direction. Actually, no, they're not. Hold up. I'm stupid. I don't know my left and my right, apparently. Uh, we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. So I'm trying to get comfortable, because it's... It's been a long day. Um, it's kind of strange to say, but having her smile at me so genuinely... Just the microphone as well. Having her smile so genuinely at me makes me feel a bit starstruck. The powers of a school idol. You, you too, Monica. So you guys run a club with just the four of you then, huh? Sorry told me about how you were looking for new members. Uh, well, I've actually been trying to push for more members for a while. We haven't had any luck recently. Ah, uh, Sayori did say. My words drag him out as Natsuki shoots me a piercing glare. She looks peeved at me. But for what reason, I don't know. I haven't really had a chance to do much besides walk in and say hello. Sayori, you brought a bully? Yep, he told me you wanted to join this morning. Not sure if it's... Or <clears throat> not sure if it's just Sayori being an airhead, but I don't recall promising that I'd join. I... Great! Natsuki 
Glowers? <laughs> is that a real word? Hold up. Is Glowers a real word? Don't tell me she's like one of those weird... I shouldn't even say weird. Those interesting... Oh, yes, that is a real word. Even though, even though Google auto-corrected it to Glowers, Glower is a real word. The angry or sulking look. I see you mod developers using them fancy words. Folding her arms with an irritated huff. I don't really get why though. Uh -huh. Sorry about Natsuki. Um, that's just how she is. She's a little standoffish to new members. Oh, it's nothing. I don't mind. Hey, I'm right here, you know. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. I've got to try to make a good impression though. Come on, Natsuki! We need new members! If you don't feel like being nice to Jay, can you at least be nice to me? Uh, can you at least be nice for me, please? Jeez, you don't need to make such a big deal out of it. Fine, fine. Forget a bit. I guess I have no choice. Hooray! Thanks, Natsuki! Looks like I know who the tsundere of the group is now. I'll act like I know what that means. It's almost comical the extent of which Natsuki fits that trope. Okay, I, I, I have a general understanding then of what that means. Well, maybe my view of the world is just clouded by anime influences. Oh, yeah, you watch way more than I do, dude. Because I don't know what that means. Besides the fact that I know who she is, so that gives me a hint, I guess. Um, anyway, let's get this conversation. Or <clears throat> anyway, let's get this conversation back on track. <laughs> How'd you come to learn about the literature club? Club J. Monica, you can't speak for crap. But neither can I. Um, I'll have to admit, I'm a bit curious about that myself. Uh, Sarah and I were just talking, or walking to, talking and walking, walking and talking. Um, just walking to school when she mentioned this club to me. Since I was sort of looking for a club to join, I figured that I should check you guys out. At any rate, Sayori was really enthusiastic about the literature club, so... Monica beams at Sayori when she hears this. Guess Sayori has done a good job at advertising for the club. I see. I think this is a great place to start. After all, books can be very enticing. Hey. Yeah, it's <clears throat> wrong voice there. Yeah, it's super fun. I I think the club is the only place where I've been feeling comfortable lately. Sayori's face falls for a moment. If you can't see it, because I don't have a camera, but I did that. Yikes, dog face. Sayori's face falls for a moment, but she quickly picks herself back up. It's somewhere I can just sit and read while hanging out with friends. Do they change what uh, Sayori's personality is like? Don't change my waifu, please. Please. She's my favorite. I, I think they summed up the club pretty well, after all. I started it to bring back or bring together like minded people who love literature. I'm really happy how it's turned off so far. It's very cozy. But enough introductions. Why don't you come in and take- I need to slow down, by the way. I talk way too fast. Why don't you come in and take a seat, Jay? Did you bring anything to read? As she asks that, I realize I'm not much of a reader, much less someone who loves literature. To be honest, I haven't thought this through very well. Would joining a club that focused on reading really be the best thing for me? I can give you quick maths, two, four, six, eight reasons, eight reasons, times that by two, times that by two, you probably won't get that part, maybe you will, maybe you will, just the other, other, other thing, um, to be honest I haven't thought this through very well, we're joining a club, folk that focuses on reading really be the best thing from- I already read that, I'm stupid. Oh, um... No, I don't really have any books on me at the moment. I just haven't seen any good titles recently. Nice catch. I lie through my teeth, hoping Monica sees through my- or doesn't see through my facade. I obviously don't read much, but if they believe that I do, hopefully it'll help me relate to these girls. I am also of the educated readers, me ladies. I'm just going to game in myself after that statement. Oh well, we have plenty of books here if you want to check out what we have. I'm sure you'll find something that matches your taste. Is that so? Then I guess I'll head over there. 
Maybe something might catch my eye. I start to sweat nervously as I walk awkwardly over to the bookshelf. There looks to be a good variety of books available, ranging in genre from... Sorry, I didn't want to, like, super yawn into the microphone, so I had to cover my mouth. There looks to be a good variety of books we have ranging in genre from horror and fantasy all the way down to nonfiction. Sheepishly, I turn towards, um, Yuri or Natsuki? Natsuki, Yuri, Natsuki, Yuri. Boom, big brain. Um... I guess Natsuki. I don't. These. I'm not a big fan of the Yuri Natsuki duo. Uh. So, do you have any recommendations? I take a closer look at the book as I say that, and to my surprise, I notice there's a rather extensive collection of ma mango on the bottom shelves. Oh, dude, I love mangoes. They're delicious. When I glance back at, up at the girls, I notice Natsuki staring down at the mango too. Our eyes suddenly meet, and she looks away, blushing. Our eyes suddenly meet, and she looks away, blushing. What do you like to read, huh? Maybe I shouldn't do that voice if I'm actually going to choose her. I don't know if I can do a better voice. We'll, we'll test something out next line, I guess. Um, honestly, I just read Mango most of the time, so the collection down there caught my eye. I don't... I didn't know that Mongo was allowed in the classroom like this. Jay, are you an idiot? Why would Mango not be allowed? <laughs> Those are actually Natsuki's. D don't just say it like that. I just put them there for a while. I... I was reorganizing the closet. Monica always messes with my collection when she goes in there, so I'm trying to make more space for them. Maybe I should talk faster with her just because she is a inch. Like, Yuri's more of a slow, not because, like, if you see the mouse, you know. Uh, and she says this, Natsuki shoots a look at Monica who smiles sweetly in return. Which series do you have? I read a lot, but I don't think I recognize many here. Most of the book's spines are vibrantly colored with big, blocky letters announcing the titles. The boss is a maid. Rice Ball Basket. Orange High School Nightclub. I've never heard of this these series in my life. Neither have I, buckaroo. That probably means that they're either way out of my demographic, or they're simply terrible. Or we don't read enough mango, because I don't read mango. If you're gonna... <clears throat> If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. I can't do that voice. <clears throat> My throat is dying. I'm gonna save here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been jubbled. You've been amazing. And as always, deuces. If I'm honest, I'll just make you cry. And I don't wanna fight with you.